Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin, if you're new here, and my channel is all about DIY, shopping, travel, and lifestyle. And today, we are doing a DIY project. Well, we're doing several DIY projects. This first DIY project that we're doing, I wanted to create one of these pedestal bowls that I keep seeing at different stores, but I definitely didn't want to pay that much for it. So this bowl ended up actually only costing me $4. Both of the bowls that I'm attaching with hot glue came from the Dollar Tree, dollar for each. Then I also picked up the black paint and the baking soda from Dollar Tree. I've been wanting to try this baking soda paint technique that's supposed to create like a terracotta clay texture to your projects, but I didn't want to do it in like that terracotta brown color, so I decided to go with black. And as you'll see at the end, I'm really excited at how it came out. You'll see that I had to do three coats for this to actually look decent. <laughs> but in the end, I really liked how it came out. So I read that you should add about one teaspoon of baking soda, but it didn't say how much paint to add. So I kind of just eyeballed it so till my paint got gritty and I could see that it was a little bit gritty. And here is the final result. I love how it came out and three coats later. <laughs> All right, so the next project, I'm using some of the leftover beads, wooden beads that I had from my chandelier project. If you haven't seen my clothes video or my chandelier video, then I will link those down below. So I wanted to create one of those wooden bead garlands that I keep seeing everywhere. Like I feel like everyone's doing these, but I wanted one myself since I had these leftover wooden beads. I figured why not? This twine, I always keep multiple packs of this twine from the Dollar Tree the, in the automotive section on hand. So this also was a dollar for this three pack and I didn't even use the entire spool of twine for this project. So in order to do this, I decided to do the little tassels first. And all I did was wrap it around about 16 times, wrap it around my hand 16 times, and then wrap the twine around so that it stayed in place. Then I also cut the end so that it had the little tassel effect at the end. After that, I strung beads on the twine until I got the desired length that I wanted, and I really like how it, how it came out. Now it's time to decide how I was going to fasten the tassels onto the garland. So I pulled the twine through the loop and made a knot. And then once I was ready to cut it, I, I think I knotted it about three times. And then I wanted to make sure that the both ends of the string from the knot were strung through as many beads as possible that were on the twine. For the other side, I kind of did the same thing, however, I had to string the end of the knot into the wooden beads a little bit differently. I couldn't just slide them on. So 
So once I got them all fastened on, I cut the excess of the string from the knot that was going into the beads off. So to give it a little bit more of a finished look, I decided to cut the tassels so that they didn't have that fringe and they had the, or they were at the same length. And here's the final result. I really love it. I love the length. I love how it came out. <laughs> now for our third project, I had this fishbowl left over. I found it in a closet and I had a bunch of these nautical ropes because whenever I see them at the Dollar Tree, I buy multiples. So I saw a globe that had this really cool design and it had like a single, it looked like a single jute rope wrapped around it and I thought I would be able to find a globe but since I had this fishbowl I kind of like the same concept so I wanted to unravel the jute and use just the single rope around not thinking that of course that's going to unravel the whole thing because it's individual strings but it turned it turned out fine all I had to do was twist while I was gluing it down so it worked out fine and I thought I was going to just cut it after each wrap around but if you decide to do this project I would just recommend continuing to go around and around until you get to the end of that one rope and then start the next rope. I think it turns out a lot better and it makes it a more unified look rather than cutting it. And here is the final result. So the reason that I did all these DIY projects is because my current coffee table looks pitiful and neglected. I still have my snow globes on there from Christmas time. So <laughs> we are going to clean this off and get it ready to put on all the new DIYs that we just did. So based on the rule of threes, the design rule of threes, I have to add something else and I picked up this candle from HomeGood that I thought would fit perfectly on my coffee table. So if you're unfamiliar with the design rule of threes, like vignettes and everything looks better when you have three th at least three things. So three, five, seven, that type of thing. It just sets it off. It makes it complete. That's why I wanted to add something else and that's why I put the candle in. So most of these items came from the Dollar Tree. So this was really an inexpensive project, including the paint. And one thing I will say, sometimes you have to shop around at Dollar Trees. My new favorite Dollar Tree is about 30 minutes away from my house, but they have a great craft section. And if you don't have a Dollar Tree in your area that has a good craft section, then you can always look online and order things that way. All right, y'all, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below and I will see y'all on the next one. All right, bye.